This place we find ourselves in is a gallus woman. Born and bred of moss then brass, she is a nippy sweetie. Long-teethed and sharp-tongued, she is clever but knows better than to act smart. Our landmass, her body a canvas, birthmarked and scarred by our abundant living. She is salt, swooped in from the southwest, her hair a tangled gorse, with a belly full of schemes, scheming youths making their marks on her walls. She makes a good home, this gallus woman. She plays with the dogs and gulls on her shore, combing the knots from her seaweed with the sour smell of chip shop vinegar lingering. She flirts with Aaron on the horizon, but he is a sleeping giant and takes no notice. He sucks in the sun as it sets, leaving her only with a sky. In winter, this gallus woman dusts her hinterlands with snow so cold it burns the skin, and she smokes from every chapped mouth at the bus stop. Her wind bites us until we are left to bone and bare branches and boarded up houses. When this gallus woman rains, she pours. Her grasses lap it up and call for more, but we hurry down the high streets with broken brollies and hooded jackets. She is volcanic. She has a temper, and rightly so, she would not last long without one. She watches us, her arms crossed, a woman scorned because we have littered her with train tracks and bottles. We pierce her with pylons, wires and petrol. We have mined her skin until it was coal, her veins slick with motorways. But her bluebells still manage to push through and boy, are they holy. This gallus woman doesn't stay mad for long, wrapping us in a blanket when we step out of her glassy sea, she forgives us. At the gloaming, she glows orange, like a burning star. Listen closely, she speaks now. <laughs>